Before we get into this video, I want to just take a brief moment to tell you guys I have built my first set of LUTs packs. It's a very small pack, but these are something that I've been working on for quite a while. Uh, these, the first pack I've ever put together, it's uh, for design specifically for the two newest Black Magic cameras, the Pocket 6K and the Pocket 4K, as well as the Canon C200. And what these LUTs do is they emulate the look of both of red uh, wide RGB gamma as well as Ari's Log C. So if you're interested in having these LUTs, make sure to follow the link in the video and also check them out. It's really affordable and any, uh, any sort of help that you guys can help contribute to continue building this platform, I greatly appreciate it. But enough of that, on to the video. What's up everybody, James Jackson here, back again with another video. This one's a little bit off the beak, sorry. Uh, this seems a little bit of a rush video. Um, that is because I woke up to this announcement. I only found out about this literally um, uh, just an hour, just like a few moments ago. So I had I wanted to rush and make sure I can get this information out to you guys. And that is that Canon um, has brought in some more information about the EOS R5. Now the R5 is probably the one of the most anticipated cameras especially since it's a mirrorless camera that is supposed to do some sort of 8k uh content 8k video content they've and they've been very um uh, catty about of what's th is coming with this camera we know some things we know about 12 frames per se uh, 12 frames per second in terms of mechanical 20 frames per second Electronic, we know it's going to have IBIS, a night I think that I think everybody was excited about, and we know in some shape or form it was going to do 8K. Well, Canon has now let out some more information out the bag, and now we know that it's going to do 8K video up to 30 frames per second with no crop, and it will have full autofocus, dual pixel autofocus in it in all flavors of video. So, this is big news to a lot of people. A lot of people were anticipating there was going to be s something coming. The Cripple Hammer is, is, is infamously known now. Um, people thought, uh, people were saying it, it's going to be cropped. My reaction is, duh, duh. Uh, uh, and the reason why I say that is because if you've been following me, you pretty much know... Um, what I've been saying. If you haven't been following me, please subscribe to the channel right here. So, you know, I can definitely continue pushing out content like this. Um, but if you've been following me, you know that I have been saying, not only is it not going to be cropped, I've been saying it's been, it's, if, if the rumored sense, uh, sensor size, which is 45 megapixels, if that was to be true, I said it would be mathematically impossible for it to be a crop. The worst case scenario would be a one-to-one -one crop if all they did was do um, QHD 8K, which is the 16 by 9 minimum 8K video. Uh, but because it was 45 at DCI 8K, it's pretty much a full frame, full sensor readout. It's math. There was no way it wasn't going to be cropped. And now Canon basically confirmed basically what i've been saying for quite a while now and you know i'm happy that they're finally um acknowledging this and so a lot of people are going what what so so a lot of people uh there's a few pages that have sort of um got a chance to get access with canon and talk a little bit with canon so that's so that's pretty much the main thing that they announced that it's going to do 8K, 30 frames per second, up uh, with no crop, and it's going to be, and you will, yes, you will be able to access the dual pixel autofocus, which all of this is basically already what Canon Rumors has already sort of, sort of leaked in terms of what they were saying was coming with the R5, which gives more cadence to what is what's remaining to be known. It's just that they still didn't announce the sensor size, but we all know it's going to be a 45 megapixel sensor. And then what's left is, well, is it going to do 120 frames per second in 4K? 
as we all uh, anticipate it to be. And at this point, I'm like, dude, everything he's basically said, it, it, he basically said it's been, he is confident it's confirming. It, it, Canon has basically confirmed it and validated it. So, and 4K 120 was one of those things. So yeah, I'm basically saying, yes, I do believe there will be 4K 120 frames per second. Because as of right now, all of his things, uh, Canon Rumors, the Canon Rumors site came out with has been factual. So, yeah, I do believe that it's going to have 4K 120 frames per second. Um, now, in terms of price and releasing, I know this was originally released, it was planned to release in July, but because of uh, manufacturing delays because of the coronavirus, I, I expect it to probably come around August, September now, but we'll see how that goes. In terms of pricing, again, a lot of people are speculating it's going, because they're saying this is... This is the 5D Mark, um, the 5D Mark uh, 4 version of the mirrorless line. I, I still, I, I, that's the part that I'm like, no. Uh, and the reason why is because, look, Canon does deliver good, deliver great specs, but those great specs come at a cost. And I just have a really, really hard time believing that Canon is going to release an 8K video camera with no crop can use dual pixel autofocus for three thousand or three thousand five hundred dollars that that just doesn't seem I, I i have to see believe i will be happy i will be ecstatic if that's the case but i just have a really really hard time believing canon is going to do that now what i think canon will do is they are going to basically charge it at basically less than what I originally anticipated. I said it's going to probably be around the six, seven thousand, maybe even the eight thousand dollar range. Um, but because we are also getting rumors that it is going to have CF Express and an SD card slot, that sort of brings the value down for me. But because they are now saying that yes, this is going to be 8K 30 frames per second, again, we don't know the codex checks, but most likely it's going to be HEVC, H.265. Now the question is, will it be all, will there be an all I included in the 8K format along with the interframe IPP uh, format, which I'm almost certain that's going to be in there. That's w the thing that we do not know left. Um, I do believe it's going to have all I, simply because almost every Canon camera that has came out uh, has that at least in the full frame uh, lineup has had some form of all eye in them, so I I expect all eye to be in there even at 8K. And if that's the case, I don't see how this camera, especially if it's 10 bit 422, which is also the very likely scenario, I don't see how this camera still doesn't come below the five thousand dollar mark. I'm right now, which I think, look, Canon's going to announce this, I would say in the next week, I would say probably in the next week or so, they're going to give the full specs. They're, they're right now, they're slowly doing the trickle tease. Um, but if I had to take a guess right now, I would say they are going to price it at $5,500. That is my guess. Um, we'll see. And let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think $5,500 for an 8K 30 frames per second, no crop, dual pixel autofocus video camera? Is it if is is $5,500 a good value? Do you think it's too high? Do you think uh, we all know we all you would wish it lower, but do you think that is a that is a a pretty good value price set? I want to hear that. What do you also think about this announcement? uh that they have confirmed 8k 30 frames per second let me know leave a comment below and get back to me again subscribe to the channel till next time take care everyone